This deck really wants to do one combo and nothing else. Well, hello there, random person on the internet, and I can't really tell you anything about the deck without spoiling anything, so how about a little ad read for CardKingdom.com, your place to go for anything magic related. Check them out, link is in the description. Now, let's play some magic as Richard Garfield intended. Oh my god, the internet was right. The arena shuffler is rigged. I mean, what are the odds of drawing seven lands in your opening hand? Well, that's Mulligan. Jesus Christ, another one. Bruh. What? Hey. Ah, there we go. Now some of you might think they already know where this is going and that's a reasonable assumption considering this hand, but they most likely don't, so let's just see what happens. Opponent plays a land, passes back. We play a land, pass back. Soul Warden and a land. Well, here we go. Play a land and cast Treasure Hunt. A two mana sorcery. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a non land card. Then put all cards revealed this way into your hand. Oh my, <laughs> looks like the next spell was 30 cards deep in the deck. Let's just save this one for next turn. Discard 27 lands to hand size and see if our opponent can stop us. Forest. Trellasara, soul one gains life, Trellasara gets a counter, scries, swings for one. All right, let's waste no time and play Ruination Rioter. Just a two mana two two, but when it dies, you may have it deal damage to any target equal to the number of land cards in your graveyard. Opponent gets some triggers, we play a Phyrexian Tower. Use it to sacrifice the Rioter, 27 lands in our graveyard, and that's game. Oh, what, another game? <laughs> I don't see much use in showing the same combo again, but sure, I do however see a lot of use in tapping that like button. <laughs> Thank you. Mulligan until we find a treasure hunt. Opponent plays a Jesper Sentinel. Oof, well, that's certainly a thing that can happen, but it's not as bad as it seems. We just have to sequence our spells a bit differently. Opponent plays a land, swings for one. Well, we play a land, play the Rioter. Now we do need it to survive here, but we didn't aggressively mulligan or do anything suspicious to let our opponent know that our whole game plan relies on this guy surviving. They play a land. Oh, Stone Rain destroys a land. Well, at least we have a 100% chance of drawing enough lands. But we do need three to pull off the combo, so well, play a land, swing for two because we can. Opponent plays a land. And another stone rain. Ugh, okay, I mean, that just prolongs the inevitable. Draw a land, play a land, swing for two. At least the rioter is still living. Oh my god, come on, I just want to do the thing. <laughs> Draw a land, play a land, swing for two. They can't have the fourth stone rain here, right? Place a land, attacks for one, and nothing. <laughs> well, if they have instant speed interaction, we're just dead, but <laughs> treasure hunt. No spells left in our deck, so draw our whole library, discard to hand size, sacrifice the rioter, 48 lands in our graveyard, and that should do it. Okay, seriously, treasure hunt in the first opening hand. I guess it's time to talk numbers here. The chance of hitting a one-off card in a seven card opening hand is about 11%. According to archived forum posts, Arena uses a hand smoothing algorithm. For the first opening hand in a game, it will compare two hands from two separate copies of the deck and then randomly pick one with a favor to the one with a spell to land ratio closer to the spell to land ratio of your deck. Sadly, in this deck, a hand with a spell in it has a way higher ratio than the entire deck. So the algorithm might see this as an outlier and filter it out. Of the 286 hands I saw while recording this video, only 24 had a treasure hunt. Ah, yeah, this is probably a good time for a disclaimer to not spend wild cards on this deck. This equates to 8%, which is lower than the expected 11%. Now while this may be affected by the hand smoother, it's certainly affected by a small sample size. And by the way, this counts for all these arena shuffle is rigged conspiracies. Just because you get mana screwed from time to time doesn't mean the program is working against you. In fact, considering the infinite vastness of the universe, it's likely that somebody out there had to mulligan every starting hand they have ever drawn. So remember, next time you draw your third one lander in a row, somewhere out there some unlucky alien of a species that also created Magic the Gathering is getting dunked on by the incomprehensible randomness of a deck of cards way harder than you could ever imagine. Anyways, let's keep this hand and give our opponent the business. Emotional damage! 
What? Another game? Wow, really squeezing the content out of this one. And what's this? Allures as a companion? Okay, so this deck was sent to me a few weeks ago by a viewer named Jeff. Okay, no, I, I gotta resist here. Yeah. God damn it! Now when I saw this list, I immediately knew that it was too sweet not to share with the world. But when you're only two spells and the deck cost two mana, why not play Lurus? So I made some tweaks to the list and you can check out my article for more. But now let's see why I thought it was necessary to show you yet another game with the most one-trick pony deck in Magic. That's a mulligan. That's the wrong spell. That's a mulligan. Mulligan. Nope, that's a mulligan. Mulligan. Whoop, there it is. <laughs> well, at least we are very likely to draw into our land drops. Opponent, planes, soul warden, nothing like some good old life gain in historic. We do our land, play it, pass the turn. Another soul warden, gains a life, plays a land and swings for one. Well, we draw a land, treasure hunt, hope the rioters deepen our deck. Oh my god, oh, okay, I guess we might be pulling off the mulligan to one, win on turn three here. Discard 44 lands to hand size. Opponent, land, and a linden, enters the battlefield, gain some life, attacks, gain some life. Yeah, pretty sure 25 life is not going to be enough here. Oh, yeah, okay, sure, 27 doesn't cut it either. Play the tower, sacrifice the rioter. 44 damage to the face and I can't believe we pulled it off. Mulligan to one, 44 damage on turn three and I think I peaked. I mean, what else is there left to do with this deck? Bonus game. Um, yeah, okay, sure, of course there's going to be a bonus game. Mulligan down to the hunt. I wonder what's going to happen in this one. Opponent, island, go. Well, here goes nothing, treasure hunt. Oof, this might not be enough lands. Yep, this got 17 cards. Yikes, well, that's awkward. Oh, island go again. Well, in that case, uh, let's get this rioter counter. Yep, well, this is going to be a tough one. Island go again. Oh my, D fun. <laughs> get the lures out of the companion zone. Play a trio. Yeah, this matchup is really not in our favor. End of turn, Brineborn cutthroat. <laughs> Taps, plays Castle Ventress, swings with the cutthroat, passes back. Well, let's see how they feel about this Lurus. Just a literal cancer. What is this, Twitter? I'm beginning to think we're not going to resolve a single spell here in this game. Okay. Island. And a Teferi Master of Time. They actually tap out here. To be fair, we did already cast the only three spells in our decks. So that's bad. Hit us down to 14. Well, here's our one shot. Channel Takenuma. Mill three cards, then return a creature or planeswalker card from your graveyard to your hand. So that puts four more land cards in our graveyard, enough to make this Ruination Rioter lethal. So let's cast it while they're tapped out. They loot with the fairy, and it resolves. Oh, okay. Please, no bounce spells. Just let me untap with this Phyrexian Tower. Loot with the fairy. Oh my god, and they passed the turn. Okay, play a land, sacrifice the Rioter. This deck has no business beating a control deck. I can't believe we got this far. Teferi loots. And they scoop it up. Oh my god, this matchup shouldn't be winnable. Are you tired of your opponent having permanence? Well, I got just the right thing for you then. Check out last episode where we get rid of all these pesky permanents for good. This video and more all in this playlist right here. Check it out. Remember to tap that like button, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.